little bit about me, background. Played eight years in the NFL. Uh, six with the Dolphins, two with the Saints. All that's the, the glory part about you know being an athlete. You know, you hear about the end of the story. And he played in the NFL for eight years. But the process gets overlooked. It's a different process. Is what you use to get to that point. Now, my process is probably going to be totally different, at least I hope, besides the, the end of it, the beginning process that it took me to get from where I was in high school to the NFL. Now, I, I, I played in the band. So when I was doing my little thing, you know, you guys, I was looking at you guys, you know, checking out the football players, basketball players, and things like that. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I grew up in New Orleans, so the band wasn't a joke. You know, we marched in Mardi Gras and do all that. Some people would say that our band was probably more famous than our football team. But, I was in the band. So from the band, I wasn't sure about what I wanted to do, you know, as far as what my life was. I, I, it was not like, I thought I wanted to be a musician for the rest of my life, or uh, I knew for a fact what I wanted to do. I mean, I didn't know if I wanted to be a fireman, a carpenter, garbage man, or anything like that. So with that being the case, I decided I was going to go into the military. So I went to the military for four and a half years, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, hoping that the military would give me some information and help me figure this out. So they did, you know, my job was a medical lab tech. I drew blood, examined, you know, body fluids and things like that. That was my job. But while I was in the military, I realized this is not something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I knew that, you know, this is not, what I'm gonna be doing for the next 20 years. And while I was in the military, I was playing flag football. And just running around and you know, I started to lift weights, I got bigger, I got stronger, I got faster. And someone said, you know, you should think about playing football. I played a little football in college, and I think you got it. And you know what I'm gonna do? When I get back to the States, because I was in Japan at the time, I'm gonna go ahead and go to you know, one of these schools and find out if I got it. Go to junior college. Well, actually, I went to University of California Riverside. I'm driving in my own vehicle, just traveling to the school to find out if I can be a part of their football team. You see, Riverside doesn't have a football team, so they tell me what what you can do though is go to the junior college down the street. In '89, I'm gonna take it back. I don't even know if you guys were going to, but in '89, this junior college won the, the college national championship. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's good exposure. Let me go there and see. Hey, remember, I was in a band now, so I don't have real football experience. So I'm at UC, I'm at first I committed to college, and I'm trying to make it on football. Right? This is my process. Long story short, I ended up becoming good at football. While I'm there, they say, you know, there's a Division I school, Arizona State, and they're offering scholarships. Would you like to go there? Well, I'm thinking about it, but I want to check a couple, a couple other schools out. So I drive my car from Riverside to USC. I tell the coaches there, hey, I'm thinking about, you know, I'm getting ready to go to Division One. They say I'm getting good. You guys want me. Now nah, we got our linebackers, all right. Thanks for coming, bye. Go to UCLA. I'm gonna try this. Bruins, everybody's heard about the Bruins. I wanna go there, let me try them. I drive over there. Hey guys, you know, I'm Derek Rogers. Nope, we never heard of you. Well, I wanna play linebacker. No, we never heard of you. We already got our linebacker. Okay, I end up going to Arizona State. One year we go to the Rose Bowl, 11 0, 11 1, we lose the Rose Bowl. I get a telephone call from Jimmy Johnson, eight year career in the NFL. And right, that's my process. That's kind of a crazy process to go through. Right, things have changed now. Playing college now gives you guys the opportunity. How many of you guys are uh, on Instagram? How many of you guys show your hands on Instagram? How many of you guys are on Twitter? Right, how many of you guys are on your phone right now while I'm talking? Used to be when you walk through, you could see people on their phone and you wouldn't know that it was the kids. But now it's probably the adults, everybody's got a phone. They're tied to it. But this technology has changed everything. In 97, I was scared of computers. I got one in 98 and I was like, I don't even know what I'm gonna use this thing. And now I go inside my house and sometimes without 10 minutes passing, I'm on my computer. But this is the new world, things have changed. It's gotten smaller through technology. Playing college is that. It gives you guys the opportunity to reach out to places that you probably would not have been able to reach out before. Okay, it makes everything smaller for you. Now you can reach out to the coaches, and not only do you reach out to the coaches, 
You don't have to go through the process that I went through, which is going to the coaches and getting their rejection. These coaches actually contact you because they want you. They've seen something on your profile that lets them know this is the kid that I want in my program. And that's totally different than what I had told you. Okay, so this is what playing college is gonna get for you, right? It'd be like some needs to keep it short and sweet. The last thing I wanna tell you guys is that, does anybody have an, an answer or a definition for insanity? Anybody know what that means, insane? Exactly. He says doing the same thing over and over and expecting the same result. Now you guys are student athletes, okay? There are a lot of times that you go through the same routine that you're doing over and over and you're getting the same result. You're gonna get the same result. It's not the way that it works in the NFL, it's not the way it works in the world. Understand that if you want something different then you have to do something different to get it. You have to continue to push yourself. This is not just about football, this is about life. All right, if you want something better in your life then you need to step up and do something totally different. You need to do something crazy, like running steps in the cold, waking up, shooting a thousand jumpers in the morning, and continue to do this because you want to be better. That's the process that it takes to be great. All right? That's the last thing I'm leave you guys. Thank you for your time. By the way, we had 97 rolls on Twitter, and on Instagram was 59 purple 59. Thank you very, very much. Let's give them another round of applause. Those of you who want to sign up today for playing college, they have their application and registration in the back to the left. If you can't sign up today, please take their information. It is a fantastic program, and we appreciate their sponsorship for this all-star game. Thank you.